Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Does the cooler weather make you start thinking of crafting? That's what it does to me. In fact, I've been watching quite a few videos to try to brush up on some of the things that I like to do that I'm not really good at, but with the refresher from the videos, I can figure it out again, and then I work on small things first and then I move on to something bigger but the thing that I've been watching lately is needle tatting I don't know if you've ever needle tatted the um, years ago people used to bobbin tat I don't think I could do that that's where they use the bobbins and they're crisscrossing and knotting and the shuttles and I think that would be very hard to use but I do a needle tatting and with the needle tatting you use a needle that is very long. I'll show you the needle. It comes in this this paper and I'm going to pull the needle out. There's the needle. It's a very long needle and it's got a nice big eye in it to make it easy to um, thread. But with the needle tatting, I actually have, I start out with making little, little medallions like, they're like this. They're, this is the easiest project. I think because you're making the, the the loops and you're making the chains and you're putting the little pico on them and it's easy and then you go on to things that are a little harder like brace these are actually cuff bracelets I don't have the connections that all they lack is connections I have made these oh gosh last year I was whoa there goes one we'll just get another one that's okay I'll just get another one um, you just put them around your wrist and then you would connect them. Thank you, Jim. And they're really very pretty. I've made a lot of them. I've actually made a whole batch of them. Whoops, that's a whole bunch. And um, some of them are stiffer than others. Like this one's a stiff one. And this is a stiff one and a stiff one. Some of them are real stiff. Oh, there's a lot of them. I've got so many of them in here. Look at all this. These are all bracelets. There's a whole batch of them. And I made a whole bunch of medallions because, well, you have to practice. And there's the medallions, a whole bunch of them. I made a whole lot of those. There's a lot of them here. And then you move on to something that's a little more creative that you could wear if you wanted to. These are owl earrings that I made. And these are all tattied. And tatting, tatting is not a very forgiving kind of, oops, craft. I'm very dro dropsy today. I use um, liquid starch, that's what's in this jar, to stiffen them up. Um, tatting is a bunch of knots. So like with crocheting or knitting, you can unravel it and start, sm again, with tatting, you cut it off and start over. And you, I use this really fine, I think this is, I don't know what size thread it is, I think it's a 10. I like the thicker thread to count. This is harder to do. The thinner it is, the harder it is um, to do. And then when you get tired of tatting, then you move on to beads. <laughs> and you make earrings for um, beads. These are bead earrings. What kind of beads? Oh, they're paper. They're made out of paper. These are all paper. The, the paper and then there is, there is a bead on, a real bead on the end, but um, they're paper. They're made from paper. Do you make those or they, do you buy them? No, no, I make them. You make them and you, and you use just paper. This is, it's just, it's just paper. This is just paper that you wound on a toothpick. <laughs> I wound this one on a toothpick. Some of them you wind are um, fatter. The, the, and then you use like a pin. You can use a straight pin and stick it through and use it to, and then you turn the hooks to hook it onto. This is the only button part was the ear part, the earring that would go in your ear. But that's what I do when it's, it starts to get cold. I start thinking of making things. 
this was <laughs> this I found in the thing we were we were trying to make hats one time and this is just a ring plastic ring of something I don't remember what it came off of Hey, uh, no, it's a fatter than that. No, it's a piece of, it's, it's, it's a toilet paper roll. <laughs> I just looked at it. It's toilet paper roll. You cut a piece and the way you wound it around and pull the, the tassel up and tie it, it made like a little hat. <laughs> it's toilet paper roll. So just cheap stuff. Nothing that's going to cost you anything because I'm a very frugal person. I don't like to spend money. The only thing I had to spend money on would be the, the liquid starch or um, sometimes they, and, and the thread, yeah, the different crochet threads, you have to buy those. Um, also, you know calendars that have the, the spiral? You take them and you squish them down and these make great, I don't know if you've ever noticed on um, arts and crafty things in the expensive stores they'll have these wires connected somehow and you can you can bring them out and shape them how you want to or you can bring them back in I usually put them on a pencil and just kind of scooch them down and they get nice and tight again and um, they use those so you save you save a lot of junk that's why I have a lot of junk in my house I am running out of stuff to say, and I'm hoping that you found this interesting. But crocheting, knitting, needle tatting, paperwork, it's all fun. And when the weather gets a little bit chilly, that's the things that I like to do. And especially crocheting, because then the blanket's draping over your, um, your lap, your afghan is draping over your lap. Or you maybe will want a quilt do some quilting. You can do hand quilting or machine quilting. I like hand quilting because then it kind of drapes on you again. It takes a little longer, but it's it's fun to do. So that's what I like to do. So what do you like to do? Do you like to do crafting in the winter or do you like to do it all year long? I, I only like to do it in the winter. So I will talk to you all again tomorrow. That's the end. I'm sorry, Gloria. I got to end. The clock did dong. I know. She, she had mentioned in her comment that the clock is kind of my cue to, to stop. Well, I'm, I really am running out of stuff to say. That's usually about as long as I last. Maybe the 10, 15 minutes if I'm lucky. But um, I will talk to you again at another time. So, bye-bye.